Let's go back to our top story now. France's presidential election and Ariane Bogan is a senior lecturer in French politics at the University of Northumbria. She joins us now live from Newcastle. Thanks so much for joining us. If the polls are right again, as they were in the first round, yeah. Macron looks like a shoe-in for president. But can anything be taken for granted at this That's point? Correct. And might Le Pen be able to surprise us? Well, all the polls suggest that Macron will win. Uh, there's also the Republican Front, which means that all the other parties have called for their voters to vote for Macron. So it looks extremely difficult for uh, Marine Le Pen to win. Obviously, anything is possible. We saw what happened with Trump. Nobody thought that he would win. So anything is possible. But the arithmetics is very much against uh, Le Pen at the minute. How much do you think we're looking at a repeat of 2002 when her father, Jean-Marie Le Pen, went head to head with, uh, with Jacques Chirac? Um, we are, but what struck me last night, uh, in 2002, when uh, Jean-Marie Le Pen uh, reached the second round, it was a huge shock. Whereas this time round, it's not a shock. She was expected to be in the second round. So it shows that the party has become far more normalised than it was in 2002. So it's not quite the same um, as in 2002. I don't expect Macron to win with 80%, as Chirac did in 2002. It's going to be much tighter than that. Very quickly, if you can, how much do you think is riding on this, this May 3rd presidential debate then? Well, a lot is riding on, on this election, uh, and, and in particular the future of the EU, because we know that Marine Le Pen is uh, against the EU. She wants to leave the euro. She wants a Frexit, whereas Macron is, uh, was the only openly pro-EU uh, candidate. So it's a lot is riding on this election about the future of France and the future of Europe as well. Okay. Ariane Bogan, we're going to have to leave it there. Thank you so much for joining us. From